In an unexpected turn of events, a shadow of sorrow was cast over the former U.S. President Barack Obama when the news of his personal chef's tragic death sent shockwaves through the nation. From the tragic loss of his personal chef to the stir caused by a Barbie-inspired makeover, Obama's name has been making headlines for various reasons. Keep watching till the end of this video to see what really happened to Barack Obama's personal chef. Tafari Campbell, a remarkable culinary artist who has served the White House kitchens under Obama's administration, met an untimely end during a seamlessly harmless paddleboarding trip near the Obama's family residence in Massachusetts. The 45-year-old maestro of the kitchen, originally from Virginia, had been visiting the picturesque island of Martha's Vineyard at the time of his dreadful incident. Reports state that he encountered trouble on the waters near the Obama's home. The Obama's Martha Vineyard Estate, where the tragic event unfolded, is a sprawling mansion that the family purchased in 2020 for a whopping $11.75 million. The residence, which boasts a stunning view of Edgartown Great Pond, has now become the site of an unforgettable tragedy. On the fateful day, the former president's personal chef went on a paddleboarding adventure. What started as a serene outing soon became a nightmare when Campbell fell into the water. Eyewitness accounts suggest that the talented chef struggled briefly to stay afloat before submerging and not resurfacing. His disappearance deployed an extensive search operation that extended into the night. Despite the efforts of the search teams, Campbell remained missing. On Monday, in a chilling discovery, his body was found approximately 100 feet from the shore, submerged at a depth of about 8 feet. It was also reported that Campbell was not wearing a life jacket when he went on the adventure. While the death of Tafari Campbell is a tragic loss, the circumstances surrounding it are equally unsettling. The Massachusetts State Police Detective Unit is currently investigating the incident. Although it is believed to be an accidental drowning, the exact cause of Campbell's death remains uncertain. The loss of Tafari Campbell is not just a loss for the Obama family, but for everyone who knew him and was touched by his talent and kindness. His memory will continue to live on in the hearts of those who knew him, and his legacy will continue to inspire future generations of chefs and food lovers. Barack Obama's Heartfelt Tribute Tafari Campbell's journey as a chef was inspiring and impressive. During Obama's tenure, he initially showcased his culinary prowess as a sous chef at the White House. Recognizing his talent and warmth, when the time came for the Obamas to leave the White House, they invited Campbell to continue serving as their personal chef. He graciously agreed, becoming an integral part of their lives. The Obamas highlighted how Campbell's passion for food and its ability to bring people together had left an indelible mark on their lives. They shared their heartbreak over his untimely demise and joined many others who mourned their loss of a truly wonderful man. Tafari was a beloved part of our family, the Obamas said in a joint statement. Continuing, he was creative, passionate about food and its ability to bring people together. In the years that followed, we got to know him as a warm, fun, extraordinarily kind person who made all of our lives a little brighter. That's why when we were getting ready to leave the White House, we asked Tafari to stay with us, and he generously agreed. He's been part of our lives ever since, and our hearts are broken that he's gone, they added. Beyond his professional accomplishments, Tafari Campbell was a loving family man. His untimely death is a profound loss for his family who now have to navigate life without their beloved husband and father. He is survived by his wife Charisse and their twin boys Xavier and Savin. Charisse owns a bakery and catering service carrying forward the culinary legacy of the Campbell family. Controversial Picture of Barack Obama and Joe Biden in the world of politics and power, controversies and upheavals are never far behind. Former U.S. President Barack Obama has recently found himself in tumultuous events. An amusing AI-generated image portraying him and current U.S. President Joe Biden wearing pink Barbie-themed attire took social media by storm. The image quickly divided Twitter with some users praising the pink-suited duo and others expressing disappointment at using the Barbie name for trolling. John Cooper has shared the image on his Twitter with a caption saying, Barack and Joe trolling Republican, love it, along with two heart emojis. He also added, although I think virtually everyone realizes this image was photoshopped, duh, I want to make clear that President Biden and President Obama didn't really take time out of their packed schedules to wear pink suits for a Barbie promo. But if you still have any doubt, here's the story. 
adding a wink and heart emoji with hashtag Barbie. While another Twitter user said, but if any president could pull off the pink suit, it definitely would be Barack Obama. Another user said, to be honest, I don't care. While another one said, you can tell it's fake because Joe actually looks kind of cool. Barack Obama slammed by boy genius songwriter. Music-loving Obama shares his summer and end-of-year playlists each year, bestowing his seal of approval on a diverse selection of songs. The 2023 summer compilation came with the same anticipation and fanfare, a blend of contemporary hits and timeless classics. The former president's taste in music is as eclectic as ever, featuring artists like SZA, Chanel Monet, Bob Dylan, and Stevie Wonder. His 2023 summer playlist included a mix of genres from the soulful R&B of Marvin Gaye to the indie rock vibes of Boy Genius. He also included Latin music from Rosalia and Rao Alejandro and rising Afrobeats artist j -Com. Obama's playlists have always been the topic of interest, with fans and critics alike analyzing his selections. He confirmed in an interview with Hassan Minaj that he personally curates these lists, dispelling rumors of a 20-year-old intern behind the song choices. Like I do every year, here are some songs I've been listening to this summer, a mix of old and new. Look forward to hearing what I've missed, Obama tweeted. While many artists would be thrilled to have their work recognized by a former U.S. president, Boy Genius's Lucy Dacus responded differently. The talented singer-songwriter known for her outspoken political views retweeted Obama's playlist announcement with a controversial comment, War Criminal. Despite Barack Obama's aim to provide entertainment and promote diverse music genres, his playlist seemed to spark political discussion, with controversy surrounding his presidency's drone warfare policy resurfacing thanks to Boy Genius's Lucy Dacus. While some may see the singer-songwriter's comment as a critique, others might view it as an opportunity to reopen a dialogue about the consequences of drone warfare and the civilian lives it has impacted. During his two terms in office, Obama authorized 563 drone strikes, resulting in approximately 3,797 deaths. According to the Bureau of Investigative Journalism, between 384 and 807 of those fatalities were civilians. Some of the most contentious strikes occurred in Yemen and Pakistan, killing many civilians, including women and children. This isn't the first time Obama has been labeled a war criminal. Activist and scholar Cornell West made a similar assertion a decade ago, criticizing the then-president's drone program. West argued that the drone strikes, which had killed over 200 children at the time, were war crimes. Boy Genius, consisting of Phoebe Bridgers, Julian Baker, and Lucy Dacus, are no stranger to political discourse. The indie rock group previously spoke out against Tennessee's anti-drag legislation and laws in Missouri and Florida restricting access to gender-affirming care for transgender people. During their performance at Coachella, Dacus voiced support for transgender children's safety, and Bridgers made headlines with her declaration, abortion is amazing, and fuck Ron DeSantis. Barack Obama has yet to respond to the singer's tweet publicly, while Dacus' comment about Obama may seem unexpected, it aligns with the band's political activism history and commitment to speaking out on contentious issues. So, what do you think really happened with Barack Obama's personal chef? And how do you feel about the diverse music taste of the former president and the attention it received? Do you think his playlist should be a topic of political discussion? And how do you think Obama should respond to criticisms from artists like Lucy Dacus? Join the conversation and let us know in the comments below. Thanks.